Hi everyone, welcome to educators.com. I'm Shravanti, your Hadoop instructor. In this module, we are going to discuss about the MapReduce architecture, the limitations of classic MapReduce, the YAN architecture, and how the job submission in MapReduce and YAN. If you see the MapReduce architecture, this is a master slave architecture. That means we will be having a one master machine and we'll be having a multiple slave machines. If you see this, there is a two important processes which we call it as a job tracker and the task tracker. So this job tracker is a master. Only one single job tracker exists for the entire cluster. And if you see the task trackers, these are the slave daemons. Daemon is nothing but a process, slave process. So in the task tracker, your actual execution of your task, it may be the mapper task and it may be a reducer task. All your tasks are going to be executed as part of your task, task trackers. And if you see the details about your job tracker, it is a master and it's consisting of a single job tracker and it is responsible for scheduling the jobs and also if you wanted to monitor the progress of these jobs, all these things is taken care of by your job tracker. But where in case of the task tracker, it is a slave and you can have n number of the task trackers in place. And actual tasks are going to be executed by your task tracker. And then it is going to be send the reports back to the status reports to your job tracker. This is the architecture of your MapReduce architecture in the Hadoop method. We have some limitations with this uh, job tracker and the task tracker uh, MapReduce classic MapReduce architecture. So what are those limitations? Are nothing but whenever you are working on a bigger cluster. There will be a huge amount of the jobs are submitting to your uh, cluster. In that case, your job tracker will be very busy because it has to schedule all the jobs and also it has to monitor the progress. And so each and everything will be taken care of by your job tracker itself. So this will be highly overloaded. And also another limitation of your classic map reduce is you will be having a fixed number of mapper and the reducer slots in the older version. That means suppose if I assign 100 slots, the mapper and 100 slots to the reducer. Let's assume that there is no reducer task right now. Whenever the mapper task reaches the 100, we cannot use our reducer task because it is fixed. Only the mapper task can run in the mapper uh, slots and the reducer task can run in the reducer slots. Such kind of the fixed mechanism is there in your classic map reduce. So to overc and one more thing here in the map reduce, uh, classic map reduce, you can run only the map reduce, map reduce related programs. That means we have other frameworks programs as well, such as for to process your graph processing, right? We have Apache Jira and we have Spark. Such kind of the programs, if you wanted to run as part of your MapReduce, uh, older MapReduce, it is not possible. So these are all the limitations. To overcome all these limitations in the Hadoop 2.x architecture, they have introduced something new called YAN. YAN is nothing but yet another resource negotiator. So 
What exactly this YAN architecture consisting of is? This is also a master slave architecture, but instead of the job tracker and the task tracker, in the latest versions of the Hadoop 2.x, this is YAN, you will be having a resource manager and node manager. These are the processes. So here, this resource manager acts like a master. And these node managers are slaves. That means you can have a single resource manager, the entire cluster, and you can have a multiple node managers over here. And inside this resource manager, you will be having a separate two components for your scheduler and your application manager. So if you remember, in the job tracker we talk about it takes care about the scheduling and it takes care about the monitoring. Everything is taken care by your job tracker. But if you see this resource manager, we have a separate components like a scheduler will take care about scheduling the resources, such as if you require any of the CPUs, RAMs and such kind of the thing. And your application manager is responsible to monitor your application masters. You will be understanding in some time what exactly these application masters are. And also, if you see this, with the help of this resource manager, due to these uh, separate components called the scheduler and the application manager, those two components will be taking care about uh, what the work we are assigning, like scheduling, like monitoring the resources. And here as we talk about the resource manager is uh, like a single, it has to be a, only one instance will be running for your resource manager. If you see the node manager, this node manager is nothing but a slave in the YARN. You can have any number of the node managers. Your actual tasks are going to be executed in these computers, that means in these node managers. So what it does is, it provides your computational resources, that means such as CPU, RAM, to execute your tasks, whatever the resources you require. So it will be giving you all the resources in the form of the containers. So here, container is nothing but to execute any of your tasks, you, you must require a CPU, RAM and such kind of the thing. So everything will be provided by your containers. And in this container, we are having very, very important task one is application master. What exactly this application master is nothing but? Whenever you submit a job, a new application master get created inside your node manager. This will execute your actual task. And also, if it requires some more resources, this application master will go and talk to your resource manager saying that, hey, I require few more resources, I require few more CPU to execute this task. Can you provide? Such kind of the requesting the resources can be taken care by your uh, application master. And also, it takes care about monitoring all your tasks. Whichever the tasks are working, whichever the tasks are failing, uh, you know, restarting the tasks, and such kind of the thing. Speculative running, we will be understanding in further module. Right, so, and also it will be taking care about uh, you know, restarting the failure failure tasks and all of these task related things will be taken care by your application master. And one more point to remember over here, once your job is executed, once your task is executed, your application master is going to be killed. Again, a new job gets submitted and again a new application master gets created. So if you see this particular job flow, 
I'm having a client that means please I'm going to submit my application and submit my program whatever the map reduce program which we will be discussing in our next module how we can write our map reduce programs process so once you submit a job over here as a first step it will be getting in contact with the resource manager because the resource manager will be having all the information about what are all the node managers we will be having it and where we can execute our this particular job all these things are taken care by your resource manager and then your resource manager will be very fine as we mentioned that here you are having a scheduler and the application manager your scheduler will be taking care about the, the, all these the, the resources such as the CPU, RAM, all of these things and also here we have a different types of schedulers like a capacity scheduler, phase scheduler so based upon whatever the scheduler type which your Hadoop administrator is setting for the cluster based on that it computes the resources like what is the priority of the job and what is the uh, resources which is required how many CPU cores it requires what is the RAM it requires all such kind of the things will be taken care by your scheduler and then your resource manager will be deciding this node manager any of the node managers which are running and then it will be starting the application master even is nothing but application master and as we have discussed earlier if you want to start your application master you must require a container because container is responsible for having all these resources and this application master once it gets started it will be negotiating the resources that means if you require some more resources like uh, if you require uh, some more RAM to execute or some more cores if you want to execute so such kind of the resources will be allocated and it will be requested by your application master to the resource manager and then your whole and sole responsibility of executing the task is the application master's responsibility if you observe this it is launching the task the containers because if you are having a multiple task mapper task producer task whatever the task it may be it will be launched over here and it gets executed and these tasks Status will always will be monitored by your application master. In case if any of the tasks is failure, then it will restart those particular application master will be restarting those particular uh, tasks. And also it will be monitoring the status, how much percentage of the mapper task, what is the percentage it is finished, all such kind of the details also it checks. So this application master status will be monitored by your application manager which is as part of your one of the component in the resource manager. But finally this AM will be sending this um, status back to your client saying that your job is successful or failure such kind of the status will be sending back to back by your AM application master to your client. So once your tasks are completed, your job is completed, your application master will be dived and it releases the resources as well. So this is how your entire job submission will be done in your uh, YAN. But whatever I have explained you just now, the first point user will be submitting your job you will be having a specific command called a Hadoop jar command with the help of that we will be submitting that job so that as a first step it is contacting the resource manager and your resource manager will be having all the information about what are all the jobs are running and also what are all the node managers are available such kind of the details 
So here, as we mentioned, that the scheduler is the component in the resource manager that will be taking care about uh, scheduling the resources and also it manages uh, how many cores, CPU cores, how many RAM, or what is the size of the RAM you require to execute the job and such kind of things. And here your scheduler uh, will be selecting your container. Why we need the container is if you want to run any of your application masters, you must require a container. And then your actual job is getting executed by your application master. This will be requesting the resources to the resource manager and it will be executing the task. And then your application master is responsible to monitor the progress of the all the tasks and also in case of any of the failure path it simply restarted and also it sends this reports status reports back to your client. This is how your entire job gets submitted as part of your YAM. Summary. As we talk about in the map reviews, um, older map reviews, which is a classic map reviews, we have a job tracker and a task tracker. Job tracker is work like a master and you will be having a single job tracker. The task trackers are the slave demons and you can have multiple task trackers. Where in case of the young, we are having a resource manager and a node manager. So the Job tracker disadvantages and disadvantage of the older uh, architecture is job tracker will be highly overloaded when you are having the huge amount of the tasks are running in your bigger cluster. And also you will be having a fixed number of the tasks, mapper slots, mapper tasks can be for a user slot. And also here you cannot run any other framework programs in the older versions of the map reviews. So to avoid that, we have a Hadoop 2.x and we discussed about the YAN, this resource manager, schedulers and application manager. Scheduler will be taking care about scheduling the resources and application manager is taking care about your monitoring your AM. And also in the YAN, you can run the different kind of the processing frameworks such as Spark or a package it off or any other framework program you can run it. So in the next module, we are going to see our first map reviews program. Thank you. Let's catch up in the next module.